This next story is one that I found um, on Twitter, and I thought it was super interesting. And so um, it was about China building this road that will charge your car as you drive. Now, uh, it's it's a little bit crazy. So let me kind of explain. I'll give you the short, the short version here. It has a clear concrete top. And I put concrete in quotes because it's not, I don't believe it's actually concrete. Um, it has solar panels underneath um, that power highway lights and up to 800 homes in the area. There's a test track, which is a thousand meters long, um, and it doesn't have wireless charging yet, but develop, but it can, says the developers of it. And it's part of Ch China's EV self-driving push. Now, um, there's some quotes here, and let me see if I can get the video for you, because the video is pretty amazing. So you can see it here on the left of this track, that's the solar panels, it's kind of sectioned off there. Um, and you can see what it, you know, close up of it, what it looks like. See if I can go full screen. Yeah, so you can see that you can see through, but it's a road and it gets driven on. So obviously it's it's not great. Um, and yeah, it has some some pretty cool properties. Now you guys may remember that this isn't exactly new um, technology. So there's a couple things here, um, and I'll switch over to uh, some other stories here. First off, is that Honda actually invented this a while ago, uh, back when they had the Fit EV. This was March of last year, and um, their their uh, this charging capability that they developed is one that gives you 25 miles of range for every one mile of infrastructure. So it's a it's a it's a one to four ratio. And so what you can do there is essentially drive over it. Um, and as you drive, recharge or just not use any battery. That's kind of the, the, the thing. You're probably not going to actually get a charge out of it. But if you're just not using battery wallet because it's powering you, then it's effectively the same thing. Um, and there's a cool graphic here kind of explaining it um, that, you know, you could have this electric priority lane. I love this idea because it's very much like uh, video games I played as a child uh, where you would drive over the little strip on the road and give you an extra boost or something like that. So, you know, all of that um, coming together. So you have the thing in China, which is actually here. There is an old Indiegogo that happened that I actually donated to a while ago in the U.S. called uh, Solar Roadways, which are working on similar things here. Um, and then you have, you know, Honda doing that. And then Honda also unveiled that they're going to bring back the Fit Electric, the Fit EV, with 186 miles of range and under $20,000 price tag. That is impressive. I am actually really, really stoked on that because I think that um, that this is going to sell well. You know, I've always I've been saying it for a while. Like the Model Three is incredible, but I don't consider it a mass market vehicle. And, and the reason I don't is because it is so insanely advanced in in such a nice car. I mean. Honda or Toyota could basically take the Model 3, strip out half the stuff, you know, replace the screen with some basic instrument clusters and all that stuff, and, and still get the same range and all that for a much cheaper price, and people would love it. So I am excited about this. I am, you know, applauding uh, Honda for doing this. I really hope that they uh, push hard on this because I think they and Toyota and, you know, we already know about the Nissan Leaf and all these guys, I think they have a real shot at, at, at producing the mass market car, right? Tesla is the sizzle and these guys are going to be making the steak. Um, so, uh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so there you have it. And then I think lastly, this just popped up that BMW just announced a wireless charging option, not exactly the same of like driving on the road, but one where you pull up over it and it'll charge your car as you sit on it. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, so it's, you know, in general, um, I like that all these other manufacturers are doing a lot of stuff in this, in this realm for electric cars and providing really cool, uh, really cool tech, you know, things that Tesla isn't doing.